So what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Generations Deluxe Class War for Cybertron Siege Hound. And Hound here is one of the better figures from that line in my opinion. At least that I own. I don't own them all obviously. But I do own a few of them. And the few that I do own, Hound is probably one of my favorite ones. He's a very blocky fella. And I mean, he looks really good even though he is quite blocky. He also moves quite well for a blocky guy, but we'll get to that in a minute. Hound comes with three accessories, one of which being this drum that pegs on to his gun. As you can see there, it has silver paint apps on it in four different places, ironically, I guess. Well, I guess not ironically, but you know what I mean. He also comes with the gun that that pegs onto. It could peg on both weapons, but it's meant for this one and it kind of makes it an lmg type weapon which is also picked out in some quite nice silver paint and i mean yeah looks pretty good and we lost the drum the drum doesn't peg on very well it pegs into a little sloth i guess i can demonstrate it right where my thumbnail is right there and there is a peg right here that pegs into it. It just goes right on in. Not the best connection, but it will stay. He usually doesn't lose his weapon when I'm messing around with him. And his other accessory is a, kind of hard to get out sometimes, apparently. Hologram projector, which is pretty cool. I mean, it could be a shoulder cannon too if you want it to be, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be his hologram projector from the G1 cartoon. And I mean, yeah, looks pretty good. Has a nice gold paint app, picked out in green and silver. Looks great. And it just sits on his shoulder. I'm a left shoulder kind of guy, which covers over his Autobot logo, I know. Oh well, I guess. I mean, 10 other places you could probably put it. You could also put it on his arms, because Siege had the whole gimmick of pegs and stuff. The hound himself looks really good, like I said. There's lots of paint apps on him. I'm just going to remove his, his gun from his hand. Might not be able to see it too well, but he has some dry brushing on there because of the whole siege battle damage thing. It actually looks really good on him, specifically. I think it looks great on Hound, but not on really some of the other ones. Also some on his legs there. You can see a bit of silver scrapes, which looks pretty good. And, I mean, yeah, he also has these stars painted on to his shoulders, which is from G1. A star painted on to the top of the hood, along with some gold accents on the wrists and on the chest piece. And overall, I mean, he looks really good, and he is one of the few figures, I don't think, that got a Earth Mode remold because of the whole, he's a Jeep and I guess it's close enough thing. I guess if you want it to be. And he looks good. Lag-wise, because they're kind of out of frame, which is my bad, but the legs are pretty chunky. They do have both wheels on them, which is kind of cool. So the arms are pretty kibbleless, obviously. They're just regular old brick arms. It also has a really good backpack. It's a really nice backpack. It's flush, and I, my, I don't mind my figures having small backpacks. I do like my figures to have some kind of backpack. He can store his weapon, obviously, around his back because of it, if you'd like. The articulation on hand is quite good. He has a ball joint in the head, which is a bit iffy to move because he has a panel behind it, plus the shoulder cannon, but it is there. Speaking of the head, I guess, there's what he looks like up close and personal. Looks pretty good. Shoulder-wise, moves outward, forward, and back. Has an elbow joint swivel and a wrist swivel. He has a waist, outward, forward, and back, knee joint. A kind of restrictive swivel because it's one of those ones where the hip kind of covers over the front of it, which is fine. And there goes the drum again, which, like I said, doesn't stay on too well. But that's a minor complaint for a really minor accessory. And, of course, ankle tilt. So, all in all, Hound looks quite good in reserve robot mode and i actually quite like it he's also quite posable for a blocky guy like i said now hound's transformation is one of those ones that's kind of weird kind of fun it's mostly with the legs it's 
It's a pretty simple one, so let's just kind of get into this. First thing I'm going to do is pull the shoulders back like so. Once you pull the shoulders back, come into the back and flip out this part from the backpack. That's the peg. And that will just flip out and become like a part of the back of the truck where you can store everything. Flip up his chest and then you can flip in the shoulders like so. And that will become flush and form the top of the hood of the vehicle mode. There's peg holes right there that will peg in in a minute. The next thing I'm going to do is come into the lag here and you're going to unpeg. I can get this one. Sometimes it's weird to get out. And you can unpeg the inner parts of the legs to start forming the front tire sections. You can then flip down the feet or the toes and do that. Flip the legs around like so into the front. Once they're flipped into the front like that. They peg on to these little square notches where the shoulders peg on in robot mode. And they go there, like so. You can then take his hands and his forearms, which are still just kind of hanging underneath the car. And they will remain hanging underneath the car. And that is all that's to it. Really, if I can get the uh, arm to peg in here, I'm kind of putting it off screen. But you know what? I think that's good enough. You get the gist. Kind of. Right? I didn't peg the legs together. My bad. My bad. I did not peg the legs together. And there's Hound in his alt mode. And yeah, I mean, there's really no reason for them to do a remold Earth mode version of Hound because the Jeep's just a Jeep. It, it's going to look like a Jeep. For his accessories, you can take the drum and peg it onto this drum, this peg specifically. It's designed for it. It is loose, though. It's a really loose fit. And the gun, I like to put the gun on this peg here. Kind of angle it a bit so it's not dead in the center. And then for his side gun, just put it on the side. It looks best there. Then you have Hound, and Hound doesn't look wrong with his weapons on him. That's one of the things with Hound, is I don't think he looks wrong. Like some other ones where it's like, it kind of looks forced with the weapons on it. But with this, it doesn't look forced. This looks kind of like a natural type of thing. Lots of good paint apps in here. You can really see the chest paint apps more. The little bit of like goldish copper colors going on. Really get a look at the grill here and some of the lights. Here on there, he does also have tail lights and the and the wheels are painted. He's actually extremely well painted, which is kind of weird, because some of the figures don't really get a lot of paint apps, especially like tail lights. Tail lights are a really rare thing. Sometimes headlights are too, but I think headlights are a bit more important than tail lights. So if you like if you're displaying a car, you're gonna be displaying it frontwards, obviously. And I mean, it looks great. You could probably fit a Titan Master in there. You know what? He is back here. He is back here. Ape Face is back there. Could I fit a Titan Master in here? Sitting down? No. Definitely standing, though. Definitely standing. No sitting. It's kind of the sad part, but... Oh, well. It is open. If you wanted. Put that in there. There we go. Ape Face is back in his spot. So that is a hound in his alt form. It looks great. No real complaints about it. Maybe that the arms hang under, but they don't look that bad. Maybe from the back, it's a bit gappy. It doesn't look too great from behind. And I mean, you yeah. know. Looks pretty good. Anyway, guys, that's my review of hound. And as a figure, I'm going to give him a 4. Out of 5, not out of 10. My rating system goes out of 5. And I think he just is great. He's a pretty gold standard Transformer. And honestly, he looks great. He is great. If you didn't get him at the time, I think you might regret it. But hey, you never know. We could get a new Hound any day with Transformers and the amount that they do G1. So, mm -hmm. and there he is, Hound. Recommend him if you ever find him. Get him. He's great. Elite 2902 signing out.